so we are doing the prototype to extend the object so if we build one object and then we will extend that object using the prototype keyword in the javascript so how we will do we will watch some examples and we'll see how to extend it so for example i create a function called as shape so this is my function here i will name it uh, i will create some properties called as this dot name equal to shape this dot maybe uh, display i will say display is equal to function and i will name it as return this dot name so if i call display it will return the name whatever name is there i will create another another function called as 2d shape and here i will say this dot name is equal to here the name is different it's a 2d shape i will create third function called as triangle it will take side and height as a property as a parameter and it will give the name of triangle and it will give the side equal to the side which we are passing so this we are passing it goes here and i will also pass the height equal to height and then i will create one function also gate area equal to function and this area will give me return this dot side into this dot height divided by 2 so i created three functions now and let's uh, check these three functions here okay i will open this console.log Okay, I will create these three functions and now if I say shape okay. so if I say 2D shape one second So if I put 2D shape, I am able to see this function. If I say shape, I am getting this function which I defined here. And I can say also triangle. And I will get this function here. Now, if I see... so uh, we we have defined the shape like this right okay now let's move further i will now create uh, uh, to display to show you i will create some object for it from it So for example, I'll say var v equal to new shape. And if I say v, v is nothing but the shape. It is object shape. And you will see there is a proto kind of a, a key keyword is there. And it is automatically added in this one so that I can see who is the parent. So parent is another proto that is called the object. So every 
object has this parent every object has this uh, parent which is used as a prototype so we are doing the prototype so we are just concentrating on the prototype and prototype is nothing but the parent of the shape right now since we don't have any parent of the shape so it is automatically assigned the parent as an object so now what i will do i will i will say i will call the 2d shape this is my 2d shape and then 2d shape dot prototype i will say 2d shape dot prototype is equal to new shape so what i am doing i am changing the prototype of 2d shape to this shape in initially okay hold on one second i'll be back in a minute sorry sorry sound was busy <laughs> okay so i created three function now i am right i am putting 2d shape dot prototype equal to new shape that means i am changing the prototype of 2d shape to shape that is parent of 2d shape will become the shape and then i am writing triangle dot prototype equal to new 2d shape so that means parent of triangle will be 2d shape the prototype is called as a parent of that object so when i put this one that means i am making the prototype of 2d shape equal to shape so let's do this one in the browser so i will say here 2d shape dot prototype is equal to new shape and i will say triangle dot prototype is equal to new 2d shape so what i did i will change the prototype of 2d shape to the shape and i change the prototype of triangle to the 2d shape so we have three functions now this is called the parent function this is the parent of uh, the parent of this function is this shape and parent of this function is this 2d shape so if we a few minutes back we saw the shape shape as a prototype since we don't have anything defined for the shape so the parent of the shape will be object 
a normal object. So initially there is object. So if we don't divide, define anything for any object, the parent will be the object. So everything is derived from the object. So shape, I did not specify the parent of the shape. So it's automatically the parent becomes the object. But for the 2D shape, I define the prototype as a shape. So what will be the parent of the 2D shape? Parent of 2D shape will be the shape because I said the prototype of the 2D shape should be shape. So the parent 2D shape is the child and the parent becomes the shape. Now I said triangle dot prototype equal to 2D shape. That means the parent of triangle is the 2D shape and parent of 2D shape is the shape. So this is the parent, this is the child, this is the grandchild. So we will write down since we don't, we did not specify the prototype of this, so its parent is object. Anything we, when we create object, its parent is object. Since we created this line, that means parent of this object is shape and parent of this object is 2D shape. Now, if I say var my is equal to this is a variable name, new triangle we we'll pass the param variables phi comma n. So I created an object, and now if I say my dot get area, it gives me 25. And if I say my, it gives me an object. And if you see the prototype of this triangle, it is. Though it's saying shape, but it is initially 2D shape and then the prototype is the shape. And then again, the prototype is the object. So we have triangle, then we have 2D shape, then we have the shape. And after that, we have the object. So that way we pass the chain from the triangle to 2D shape, 2D shape to uh, shape and from shape to object. Now, if I do like this, my dot display, display is the function which we created here. What will be the answer when I do my dot display? So I have a function display here, but I created an object triangle. Now if I do my dot display. What will be the displayed when I call this display function? What will be the console dot log for it? So if I do console dot log of my dot display. What get what you're asking my question mark means what my is something I created here var my equal to tri new triangle and I'm doing my dot display because I, I created the object here and now I'm doing display but display is located in the shape object so what will be displayed here whether it will display this shape because it is returning this dot name whether it will display this one or it will display this one it will display triangle. Let's center it. So it's displaying the triangle. Why it's displaying the triangle? Because the name property is overwritten here. So though we are calling this display, but since we are calling in the triangle object, it will take this dot name from this triangle object, not from this shape object. 
if i would have not written this this dot name for example i would have created triangle if i would have created triangle without this dot name then it would have gone to the parent and parent is called the 2d shape and it would have taken this one but if i would have not written this one also then it would have gone to the parent and it would have taken this one so it will try to find the variable inside this current object and if it will not get the variable in the object then it will go to the find the variable in the prototype and what is the prototype of triangle prototype of triangle is 2d shape so it will try to find the same property in the 2d shape and if it will not get that property in the 2d shape it will go to the shape uh, shape prototype because prototype of 2d shape is a shape and then you will try to find out here and even if it is not getting it here it will go to the prototype of object because the shape prototype is object and it will try to find there and it will not get there then it will give undefined or the error it will show the error based on the uh, based on the variable name so this is how this is how we create the parenting or chain system in the javascript using the prototype so prototype is always used to create the parent object and parent grandparent object and so you can write some common functions here in this parent function and you can write particular function here in the child uh, object so that uh, you can keep the common functionality in this function and you can only write the function to overwrite it or to write uh, only the specific function for this object or this object so this is all about uh, prototype there are few other things in the prototype little advanced things are there in the prototype which uh, i will take in the future classes not today i just want to show you the basic functionality of the prototype today which is how to create the parent how to create the child how to create the grandchild kind of thing so which we did today like this one i will take another class in future to talk more about advanced prototype functionality that i will take in few days and i will let you know when i will take that one now we will move to we will move to the data structure and we will start the first data structure let's move to the let's create a folder so we will start today the first data structure data structure is a big topic we will be doing lot more data structure in the future and today we will doing the first data structure let's create a folder called as stacks the first data structure which we will see is the stacks i will create a new file called as stack.js in this i will i will write the code of the stack.js and you need to help me in building this code so let's say i create a function and i will name it as stack and this function is very important you have to remember this function and i will ask you this function you have to remember all the parts of this function by heart so next time when you come for class you should at least remember this function and if you cannot remember in two days at least this weekend you try to remember this again and again so next monday i will take a test on this stack function and whatever we do on the wednesday and thursday now in this function i will create a variable i can use var or i can use uh, let this is the local variable 
it cannot be accessed outside because I don't give permission to use it outside. And I will put it as an array. So we created array as an item. Now we have to create different functionality in the stack. So stack is what? A stack is something. Uh, can can anyone tell me what what is the example of the stack? Last in, first out. Okay, yeah. Last in, first out. So let's say if I'm putting, if I have books, let's say if I have books, if I have table and table, I want to keep the books. So I'll put the book one. It will go at the bottom of the table. Then I keep book two at the top of the book one. Then I keep book three at the top of the book two. Then I keep the book four and the top of the book three. So at the bottom, we have the book one and at the top, we have book four. I cannot take the bottom one book one before I take book four, book three, book two, book one. Then only I can take book one. So I have to remove book four. I have to remove book three. I have to remove book two. I have to remove book one. So that means the one which goes in the last has to come out first. This book has gone first, but it will go out in the last. So the stack means last in, first out. So this book four went last, but it has to go first out. Otherwise, I cannot take the book one. Since while adding, I added book one, book two, book three, book four. Now while, while removing, I have to remove book four first book three second, book two next, and book one last. So this is called a stack. And there are many examples of the stack which we will do in our class. So this is the first is the general stack. What is the stack means and how to write the data structure in the JavaScript for the stack. Now, since I need to write the various ways to add the item or to remove the item from the stack, and that is why I have to create this function. Now inside this function, I will create many other functions to help us to create the stack kind of data structure. So first function which I want to add in the stack is called the this dot push. This is my, my function push is a my function. There is general array function also push, but this function is created by me, this is a custom function. Push means I will add the items, add new item in the stack. This function will add new item in the stack. So I created this function as a, uh, as a stack function. Next function which I want is this dot pop. And this function will remove this function will remove the item from the stack. Don't confuse this pop with the array.pop. Array.pop we will use, but this pop is something which is custom created by me. Now let's say if I have book one, I will call this dot push and I will add the book one in the stack. So there's a table. I will call push function and I will add book one. Then I will call again this push function. Then I will add book two. And I will again call this push function. I will add book three. And I will again call push function. Then I will uh, add book four. So like this, I am adding the books in the stack by calling this push function since this in the push function i want to pass this book one so where will book one go i have to pass it as a parameter so i will put here as an element so something will be passed maybe book one maybe some different thing or maybe some 
other thing let's forget about that thing in this example we have only book one so i will call this function push and i will pass the book one it will go here then again second time i will call this push with the book two it will go in the table and like this all the four will go out now when i have to pop it i will take this book four first then book three book two and book one so this is the example of stack because i am adding it and then i am removing it from the last so whatever is added in the last will go out first i am not writing any body for this function i will write that body later on right now i am just defining what are the functions which will be available in the my stack data object next will be this dot peak i will i also want to see the peak so what is peak exactly let's see what is the meaning of the peak so let's say if i added this book 1 and book 2 i want to see what is there in the last one which will go out next time so i will call this peak function to see what is there in the last item which will go out next or if i have a book 3 book 4 if i call peak it will display this book 4 so peak means it will show the last item which went into the my stack so this is the last item which went in my stack next is this dot is empty this function will check if my stack is empty or not so if if i don't have any books in my table this empty will give me true result and if i have books in my table then is empty will give me false result so i will create another function which will give is empty next will be this dot size so size will tell me how many books are there if four books are there it will give me four it will return some number four and this i have to write the body later on next will be this dot clear clear will remove all the books and it will empty the table to start fresh let's say if i want to start fresh i will remove all the books at one time it's not really doing the stack work it is just create clearing everything from the table so that i can start fresh so it's a clear next will be this dot print if i say print it will print all the books book 1 book 2 book 3 book 4 in this order book 1 book 2 book 3 book 4 so i will know which one is first second third and fourth so it will just print the books so this is this is all about uh, the functions which we will be creating for the stack data structure and there is very good interview like question which we have to do in the stack and that question is called balanced parenthesis so this is the this is the example or this is a small code which we will do and this code is generally asked in the interviews and you have to solve it using the stack method on wednesday i will write down the body of each method so how to call pop how to call push how to call peak how to call is empty how to call size how to call clear and similar methods will be there in other data structures which we will do we will do queues we will do linked list every data structure will have similar kind of uh, functionalities though everything will not be having the push or pop depending on the data structure there will be the new name which we will build it so our all data structure will be built like a similar fashion and we will take use of that fashion in our coding so we will do this functionality on wednesday 
and we will also see if we get time on that day we will do the balance parenthesis otherwise we will do balance parenthesis on the thursday so if we complete this quickly then we will move to the balance parenthesis on wednesday and if tomorrow you get a difficulty in understanding this function then we will do this functions on wednesday and this part on thursday so this week we will do stack and next week we will start the queues so one by one week we will take one data structure any questions <laughs>